What's poppin' fam, it's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with another short video just for you. Yes, just for you. This video's gonna be about, you know, these um <clears throat> people that send in their donations to these YouTubers, you know. Y'all need to stop um supporting these people who take your money and doing nothing with it. I know when you switch in your money, you probably say, you don't care what's being done your money. I understand that, yeah. But you got this one dude on here, you know, I hate to talk about it, about it, but this is the situation. It's not too much on on the dude himself, himself, but just the situation of him. It's like young bucks, look at this dude here. Do not end up like these dudes. I'm telling you, don't end up like these dudes here. You know, scheme team. This dude get kicked out of goddamn hotels. Oh, the dude Jazzo, you no know, calling up to the hotels, making terroristic threats and shit. There, saying we got fucking um. Raheem Abdul Muhammad all this wild shit, you know, getting kicked out of um, out of places, right? So he kicked kicked out of one hotel, go to another place, get kicked out of there. So dudes like that, he's messed up, you know. People been sending this dude donations for a couple of years, you no. Know? He was like the number one blood dude on, on YouTube. The first ones talking shit, right? So it makes you think, all y'all dudes are sending your money in, all these um cash apps and shit like that, whatever, you know. Supporting these dudes, what the fuck are they doing with your money? What are they doing with your money? Look, what the fuck are they doing with your money? What are they doing with your money? That's your fucking money these dudes do. You know what I'm All you're doing is sending money to these dudes to support their habits. Because they're not doing a goddamn thing. There's no fucking ex explanation, no excuse for a goddamn grown man about 40 years old <clears throat> inside hotels and shit. Now, so he's in front of like some tenement building. I don't know. I heard this was in Virginia somewhere. Look at some old tin bill like in New York somewhere they have. Maybe they might got tin bills there too. I don't fucking know. But dude looking a little, you know, a little raggedy. You know what I'm saying, fam? Looking raggedy. Inside people's houses and shit. They got kids. The house is junky. Every house this dude go to is some junky ass spot. You know? Some junky ass shit. You know, it can't be the blame that, oh, that's some hush, that's a ghetto, and that's the way it is. That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We all come from the goddamn ghetto. Raised by grandma. Now, our house was fucking spotless. Spotless clean. So there's no excuse for some dirty, some dirty ass shit. And you moving in. And these people these dirty ass houses. They got little kids and everything. That damn thing. Got a skiing team babysitting and shit, man. I was like, oh, man, come on, man. Damn, dude. You supposed to be a fucking big, big blood member. But, um, you can't get a place to fucking live. Your own place to live. You know what's your name on there? You know, Raheem Mustafa Abdul, whatever that terroristic name. Jazz O'Gay, okay dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. That's a shame. What you gonna do? You bounce around. <clears throat> and I see tonight, I, I checked out last look on did. He was doing a live about um, <clears throat> some dude named Polo G, some motherfucker. Fuck him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got locked up in um, LA on a gun charge and shit like that, right? He was talking about that, dear. I was like, damn, he sit on somebody, someone's house, you know, on someone's long-ass couch. Then the little kid, he asked the little kid, give me a cookie, look hungry. Take a cookie from the kiddies and shit at the house. The little kid was looking at like, fuck, you crazy? But um, I look, a couple seconds later, skiing team was chomping down on, on the little boy snacks and shit. And I was like, god damn, how low can you go? You move in the house and eat the little kid's snacks. Got some motherfucker babysitting and shit. Big blood member babysitting babies and shit. Trying to get a little cash and shit. You know what I'm saying? But people did send me donations. I saw one sent $20. You know? But he's not going to use that $20 to get a fucking place to live. No. Long song takes care of him. You know, gives him a helping hand. He not going to go the whole 100% and do what he got to do. You know what I'm saying? And do what he got to do. Get an apartment. How, how much takes to get a fucking apartment in the hood? Huh? I really don't know, but I saw shit back in, um, in ATL. We was able to get a little crib. Um, I think it was like 200 down or some shit like that. You can move right there. This is all fucking, um, you think I'm bullshit? It's a flat shows road down um, zone six. You know what I'm saying? Damn, sure I saw that shit. I was like, damn. See, he easy get some shit like that, dude. Huh? You get donations. What the fuck? You should get you a little small loaf, one bedroom, anything. Whatever it is, something to lay your head to say, this is my spot here. Instead of fucking living in someone else's house. You know what I'm saying? Doing bills of their couch and shit. The background dirty. Little kid walk around and shit. Not disrespect to the little baby now. 
I'm saying the goddamn skiing team eat the little baby snacks and shit. Little baby, look at him like, hey, man, we going to get your shit together. Get the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's that little cute thing. We're going to get your ass up out of here. I'll eat them all our snacks. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you probably got one one bathroom in that motherfucker. That little, that little fuck apartment I look in there. Look at the apartment. with a big house apartment. I had a bunch of funny voices and shit there. Come on, man. Get your shit together, Ski. Worry up, fam. Get your shit together. Get your place of your own, you know? You're a man, right? Get your own shit as a fucking man. You can't call yourself a goddamn man to me if you live with someone and you can't pay your own goddamn rent. Look the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> This dude's a fucking joke. He is a goddamn joke. But I do must say this here. I do like skiing um his videos. He makes some of them. I, I listen sometimes. Because, dude, he's a funny motherfucker. But there's a point where you going to get your shit together, dude. But I, I, I want to see him get his shit together. I don't I hate to see a brother like, you no, know, just fucked up like that. No matter what. We put our videos out, make fun of dudes. That's all. That's all. That's making fun of the brother there. And, like, if I see him, I'm not going to dislike him or... No one of them put their hands on some shit like that. Nah, it ain't nothing like that. You, you want to see a brother do good. You don't want to see a brother fail. A good brother wants to see a brother do good. And I do want to see Scheme Team get off his ass and get out of his house and get his own fucking place to live. You know, and man up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm my fan. Peace.